Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Eclipse IDE on your Windows 10 operating system. So Eclipse is mostly written in Java and it's primarily used for developing Java applications, but you can install some plugins related to some other programming languages like C, C++, Erlang, Groovy, Haskell, PHP, Python, and so on to develop those languages also. Now, before installing Eclipse, make sure that you have Java installed on your Windows operating system. Now, if you want to check whether Java is installed on your Windows 10 operating system already, then what you can do is you can just go to this search bar and then search for CMD or command prompt. And once this command prompt is open, you can just type this command Java space hyphen version. And if this command gives you this kind of response, which says Java is not recognized as an internal or external command, that means Java and JDK is most probably not installed on your Windows 10 operating system. One more way of uh, just verifying this is just give this Java C command, which we use to compile the Java files and then Java C space hyphen version. And most probably it will also fail if the Java JDK is not installed on your Windows 10 operating system. So let's see how we can install Java JDK on our Windows 10 operating system. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for Java JDK. And most probably the first link which will appear here will be from oracle.com. So I'm going to just click on this link. I will also paste this link in the description of this video. Now here, let me just increase the font size here so you can see it in a better way. So here you can see at the time of making this video, Java SE 13 is the latest version. Now, when I scroll down, Java SE 11 is the long-term support version, LTS version. And also we have the Java SE 8U241 uh, build also. So in this video, we are going to install the latest version, which is the Java SE 13. So just go under Java SE 13 and just click on this option, which says JDK download. And once this page is open, you just need to scroll down a little where it says Java SE development kit 13.0.2. This is the version at the time of making this video. And then you can see all the operating system for which this Java JDK is available. Now, for Windows operating system, this JDK Windows X64 bin.exe file is available. So I'm going to just click on this uh, exe file, not the zip file. So I'm going to just click on this exe file here. And then I'm going to just say I received and accept the Oracle technology network license agreement. And then I'm going to just click on this download uh, JDK dot exe file now once this executable file is downloaded i'm going to just click on this executable file and i'm going to minimize my browser and here it says do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device i will say yes and now you can see this initial setup window so i'm going to just click on next here now on this next window this will be the default location where your java jdk will be installed so if you don't have the good reason to change it, I will recommend it to just leave it as it is and just click on next button. And now it's going to just copy all these files. And in few seconds, you will be able to see this message which says that Java development kit 13.0.2 64-bit is successfully installed. So now I'm going to just uh, close this window and I will go to the location where this uh, Java JDK file is installed on my computer. So I will go to uh, this PC, C directory, and then uh, 
program files and then you can see this java directory here and inside this java folder you will be able to see uh, the jdk version you have installed so i have installed the java jdk 13.0.2 so i will just click on this and the important folder here is the bin folder where all the java related files are uh, present for example java c.exe will be there and other java related executable file are all present inside this bin folder so the next step is to set this bin folder as our environment variable so that we can run all the java related command from the command prompt so just copy this path up to the bin folder of the java jdk and then go to your uh, windows icon just click on the windows icon and then click on the settings here and in the settings just click on the system option here and here you can uh, search for environment variables so just type environment variables here and you need to choose this option which says edit the system environment variables and this is going to open this kind of window so here go to environment variables and here you need to set your environment variables related to java so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to just click on the path environment variable so just click on path environment variable and then click on edit and here just paste your path for the java bin folder at the end okay so this path is c program files java jdk 13.0.2 backslash bin and then i'm going to just press enter and then i'm going to just click ok and this environment variable is set now also if you want to uh, develop with java or java related uh, tools you might also want to set your java home environment variable so to set the java home environment variable what you can do is you can just click on the new option here and then the environment variable uh, we need to write here is java home so variable name is java underscore home all in capital letters and the value for the variable will be the path up to jdk folder so you don't need to go inside the bin folder you just need to copy this folder path up to the jdk folder so i'm going to just copy this path also and then paste it here as the value for the java home environment variable so c program files java and then jdk hyphen 13.0.2 in my case okay you don't need to give the bin folder path here for the java home environment variable i will click ok here and you can see this java home environment variable is set now so i will just click ok and then click ok and then i will close all the windows now i will once again open my command prompt so if you have any previously opened command prompt just close all the command prompt which you have uh, previously opened before installing java and then now open the new command prompt so just type uh, command prompt in the search bar and then open your command prompt here and then we are going to check all the java related commands one by one so the first command we are going to check is the java version so just write java hyphen version here and then press enter and it's going to give you the java version which we have installed we have installed the java version 13.0.2 that's why you can see here the java version also you can see with the java jdk installation this runtime and environment or java jre is automatically installed with the same version so you don't need to install java jre separately now we are going to check the java c command so i'm going to just write java c hyphen version here so java c is the command line tool using which you can uh, compile your java files right so you can uh, see it says uh, this error it gives us this error which says invalid flag 
hyphen version so version i have typed uh, wrong here so i will uh, just uh, once again give uh, this command again which is the java c version and it's going to give you the uh, java c version which will be the same version as the java version okay one more command you can uh, give here to check if your environment variable is set perfectly for the java home environment variable and that command is echo and then give percentage symbol and then give java underscore home this is the environment variable we have set and then once again percentage okay so echo percentage java underscore home percentage and it's going to give you this path which we have set in our java home environment variable so all the things are working fine now and once java is installed on your windows operating system we are ready to install eclipse ide so just open your favorite browser and then just search for eclipse ide and the first link which will appear here will be from eclipse.org so i'm going to just click on this link and once this eclipse.org website is open you can see on the top this download button so i'm going to just click on this download button and then i will uh, scroll down a little and you can see this option which says eclipse ide 2019-12 and then uh, the download button for 64-bit eclipse ide so i'm going to just click on this download 64-bit uh, and here uh, you can see once again this download button and it's going to show you the location which is nearer to you so now i'm going to just click on the download button which will start the download of this eclipse uh, win 64 exe file now i have already downloaded this uh, executable file so i will cancel this uh, download and i will go to my downloads folder and here i have already downloaded my uh, eclipse inst hyphen win 64.exe file so i will go to the folder where i have downloaded it and i can just click on this eclipse executable file and i will just minimize my browser and you can see uh, the eclipse installer has been uh, started and after a few seconds you will be able to see this kind of interface and here you can choose whatever language you want to develop on eclipse you can choose that language so i wanted to use eclipse for developing my java uh, programs so i will choose this first option but for example if you want to develop c or c plus plus applications you can choose this third option or if you want to develop a php on your eclipse ide you can choose this php uh, option here okay so i will choose this option which is eclipse ide for java developers and this will be the location where you have already installed java on your windows 10 operating system so eclipse will uh, recognize the java installation on your windows 10 operating system and you can see the default location where eclipse ide will be installed on your windows operating system so i will leave both of them as default and also i will leave this uh, create start menu entry and create desktop shortcut uh, as default as checked and then click on install and then accept license terms and conditions and now i can see this eclipse foundation software user agreement here so i will just uh, say remember accepted license and then i will just say accept once again so when i choose this eclipse ide for java developers you can see in the description here the essential tool for any java developer including a java ide a git client which is a version control uh, client xml editor mylin maven and gradle integration comes with this uh, installation of eclipse for java developers 
and in between the installation process I can see uh, this window also which is for the certificate so I will just check all these options which are uh, visible here and I will also check remember accepted certificates here and also I will check this option which says always accept certificates and then I will say accept selected and now I can see uh, that the installation is completed and I can also see this Eclipse IDE icon on my desktop and also I can see this launch uh, green button which when I click will start the Eclipse IDE on my Windows 10 operating system so I will just click on this launch button and when Eclipse IDE starts for the first time on your Windows 10 operating system it will ask you to select a directory as a workspace so this will be the location where all your projects will be saved on your Windows 10 operating system so if you don't have the good reason to change this location just leave it as default and then you can also check this option which says use this as the default and do not ask again so just check this checkbox and then click on launch and now this Eclipse IDE has been started so this is the first welcome window you will see when you start your Eclipse IDE so from here you can click on the restore button which is this uh, small icon on the left hand side so now let's create a simple Java application using Eclipse to see whether everything is working fine or not so for this welcome window I will just minimize this welcome window here and then I will go to the files option and then I will just click on new and I will uh, just click on Java project because I wanted to create a Java project and here I will name my project as hello world and then here you can see the location of your project where it will be saved by default it will be saved in the directory you have already chosen and now the uh, use and execution environment JRE so I have already installed Java SE 13 on my Windows 10 operating system so it will uh, give me uh, this option in your case it can give you uh, different options depending upon the Java version you have on your uh, Windows operating system so I will leave this as default in the third category here I can see two options use project folder as the root for source and class files and second option is create separate folder for source and class files so I will leave this also as default and then I will just click on next and this will be the folder structure of my uh, hello world project so now I will just click on the finish button and then I will just click on this checkbox and then I will just say create so this will create this hello world project for me for now I just want to create a very simple Java file so I will just uh, delete this uh, module info.java file and now here inside this source uh, package I will just create a very simple uh, Java class so I'm going to just say uh, class and the name of the class I will name it as uh, hello.java okay so I will just write hello here and this will be a public uh, class and I want to create the public static void main method inside this class also so I will check this option also and then I will click on finish which will create this class for me and inside this class this public static void main uh, function is also created which is the main entry point so let's print something using uh, this uh, program so I'm going to just write system so I will just write sy and then I can uh, just press control shift to see all the IntelliSense option and then I will just write system dot out and then inside the parenthesis I'm going to just print my hello world message now here if you want to increase the font size of your code so right now maybe uh, it's less visible so I will increase the font size 
of uh, my editor so I will uh, just click on windows and then preferences option here and then here I will uh, just go to the general section and then the appearance section and then here I will click on the colors and font here and here I will click on the Java option and then I will click on the Java editor text font and then I will just edit this font to a bigger font let's say 16 and then I will click OK and then I will apply and apply close so you can see the font size is increased now so once you have written your program you can just build your program and run your program so for building and running your program you have these options on the top so I will just click on this run hello world.java uh, button here which will uh, just compile my Java program and then display the result on this console. So this is how you can download and install and use Eclipse IDE on your Windows 10 operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.